Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the Seat Law Offices, 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at theseatlawoffices.com, by Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco, and the LaSant family. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate our God in word and in sacrament, in this Easter season, we come to recognize our God who is one with us, our God who calls us to a deeper experience of ourself and thereby discovering Christ. For the times that we have failed to journey and to be one with that incarnate God, let us open our hearts and experience his reconciling love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of eternal life so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before us. For he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Act of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we ate being examined today about a good deed done on a cripple, namely, by what name he was saved, then all you and all the people of Israel should know that it was the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are so to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Alleluia. The stone stone rejected rejected by by the the builders builders has has become become the the cornerstone. cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Alleluia. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Alleluia. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, 
it is wonderful in our eyes. The stone, stone rejected, rejected by the, by the builders, builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. We will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone, stone rejected, rejected by, by the, the builders, builders has, has become the cornerstone. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yes, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf carries, catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this flock. Those also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I laid down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we hear that wonderful vision, if you would, that incredible image of our Lord calling himself the Good Shepherd. And in his own understanding of himself, he becomes one with his flock. Isn't that what we just heard? I know mine and mine know me and for my flock I will lay down my life. But he also tells us that he has other sheep, other work to do. And so this gives us great consolation, I believe, for the work of the church. To recognize that, yes, we are a part of that flock of the Lord. We are a part of him. And so that causes us to stop and reflect, how deeply am I connected to the shepherd? How intimately do I know him and how faithfully do I follow him? That really becomes one reflection. The other reflection is the other sheep. What do we do with the other sheep? We hear in the gospel that the Lord knows that there are other sheep but they will hear my voice so that they might be one with this flock. A reflection on that might be, how will they hear the voice of the Lord? Clearly they will hear it in their heart, but will they hear the, the word of the Good Shepherd through the flock that we are one with? Will they hear by word and deed from this flock, the voice 
of the Lord, of the Good Shepherd. That's why it's incredibly imperative that you and I are intimately connected with Jesus as he is intimately connected to us. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, speaking on this incredible vision, says very simply, we must smell like the shepherd, and the shepherd must smell like the sheep. A good image, isn't it? So that we might know each other and the Lord. We might know each other and the Lord, so that the good works that you and I do represent the Lord, and the Lord is represented in us. And so understanding that first piece, if you would, we become a part of the voice of the Lord for the next piece, for the sheep that are still struggling to hear the voice of the Lord. You know how, in, how difficult it is sometimes for you and I to follow the Lord. You know how difficult it is when difficult times come, when the wolf comes along, in a sense, and tries to scatter us, tries to separate us, tries to catch us unaware. That's why we must always be aware of those distractions and those difficulties in our life. Because the first thing that they attack is our relationship with the Lord. The first thing in any difficulty to go is usually the Lord. And the last one we come to is the Lord. So to reflect upon our relationship with the Lord, he ought to be the first. In difficulties, return to the Lord and ask ourselves, not why did this happen to me, it's a different kind of understanding. It's that, yes, this has happened to me. This is an opportunity for me to what? Announce my intimacy with the Lord, not to reject difficulties, but to embrace them and to some way celebrate them. Because for me to have a relationship with the Lord, it must be through his Paschal mystery, his passion, his death, his resurrection. That's how I become one in this flock and one with him. So that when I rise from those challenges, I then can speak very, very clearly, very, very clearly to the sheep that need to hear the voice through word and deed, word and deed of the flock of Christ. So to be one with Christ in this flock is to be one with him in his passion, his death, and his resurrection. That's how we know him. That's the only way we can know him because that is the way that he knows us. As he laid down his life on the altar of his cross, we then come to that same altar and offer our life. He says very clearly, I lay down my life. I have the power to do it, and I have the power to rise from this. In that power, we share his grace. His power is his grace. His grace is ours when we willingly lay down our life next to his, and rise with him to his flock. And so, my friends, there's much work to do, much work to do, but the work is possible. The grace is the potential for you and I to be one with him in the flock so that he might know us more intimately as we know him more intimately so that we share the mission and the vision of God in speaking to the sheep that are still in need of hearing his voice through our voice and our deeds as we follow the Lord. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray that you and I might rely always on the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ to become one with him through his paschal mystery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that you and I might value all of human life as we come to a deeper appreciation of the life that is in all life, and that is Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace in our world. We pray to the Lord. And let us pray for those men and women who protect us and who guard us and all of those individuals across our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the prayers that remain in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice of the offering of the cup of the country and our Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is it in is heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power and the glory, glory are yours now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have, mercy have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the Siege Law Offices, 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at thesiegelawoffices.com, by Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco, and the LaSant Family, 